It's August 9th, 2018, and a group of young Jews and Muslims are meeting at one of the darkest and most notorious places of the 20th century, Auschwitz, the Nazi death camp in Poland where over 1.1 million people were murdered between 1940 and 1945. <laughs> They're meeting at a particularly stark time. Across Europe, there's been a recent rise in anti-Semitism, and many politicians on the far right are pointing fingers at Muslims, especially at refugees like those who've come here today. The religious groups are standing in a circle with politicians, and they're saying prayers for the dead in Arabic, German, and Hebrew, Amrul is 24, from Syria. Back home in Damascus, he had learned about the Holocaust in school, but mostly just rudimentary facts. Now is the first time he's getting to interact with young Jews, like 18-year-old Amanda Pitgorni. After the first day of the program, they watched this 2015 comedy together called Look Who's Back. It's about Hitler coming back to life. Hitler sees how many foreigners are in modern-day Berlin, Amanda says. It's a nice sign that he didn't win, she says. But Amrul interrupts her. He says that when some in the film agree with Hitler's racist remarks, it points to the racism that still exists in German society. In their interactions, though, that sort of racism seems abstract. They tell me how the core tenets of their religion are the same. On the last day, the participants, organizers, and politicians sit together a last time before everyone goes back home. There's a lot of thanking and congratulating, and then a heart to heart. That's Malsa Aliman. She's a 17-year-old refugee from Syria. She wants to be a pharmacist, but over and over again, she's been denied an internship because of her headscarf. More participants raise their hands, and they essentially ask the same question. Yes, we feel how real the past is, but will those lessons protect us from the discrimination we're experiencing now in 2018?